Okay, so let's move on to the next type uh, or the next uh, technique on the preparation of emulsion. So this is called the HLB method. So in the HLB method, uh, okay, let's move on to the next uh, method in the preparation of emulsion, which is the HLB method. HLB or hydrophil lipophil balance is a method that uh, use um, a specific uh, emulsifying agent agent or um, uh, none let's move on to let's move on to the next uh, method in the preparation of an emulsion which is called the HLB method HLB means hydrophil lipophil balance so this method is useful to calculate the quantity of uh, non-ionic surfactants uh, needed in a formulation so each surfactant is uh, given a, a value on the HLB scale. So this HLB scale uh, range between 3 to 18 uh, with the low value. Okay, The low value uh, refers to surfactants with lipophilic property, uh, which means uh, the surfactant that likes um, fats or oil. Uh, and this, if we use this uh, surfactant alone, it will produce water in oil emulsion. And the high value which is the surfactant with hydrophilic property, uh, this will produce oil and water emulsion only. But uh, uh, usually in this method, we will have to mix between the two, uh, the two um, extreme, uh, which is uh, between the low value surfactant and the high value surfactant. Okay, so this table will give uh, will give us the value, okay, the HLB value for some ingredients. So the first table here uh, give the value for emulsifying agent. So you see here, these are the examples of uh, non-ionic surfactants. Okay, as an example, span eighty has a HLB value of four point three, and let's say twin eighty has a HLB value of fifteen. Okay, so you see the higher range. Um, uh, value will refer to a surfactant that is more water loving while the one that uh, with a lower um, value uh, uh, refers to emulsifying agent that is oil loving so um, as you see here the span range are usually more oil loving and the twin range are usually for water loving so this second table here gives us the value of HLB for certain wax fats and oils so don't rem uh, don't worry i wouldn't expect you to remember all these values if they are needed in the exams i will give you the value for your calculation okay uh, so when you we want to prepare an emulsion to the hlb method we have to determine the two values which are called as offered hlb values and the required hlb values so each surfactant is given a HLB value, right? So the so this surfactant offer a certain value of HLB. So the oil, fat, and wax to be formulated as the emulsion has a certain HLB value. So this oil, fat, and wax that we will formulate into an emulsion require certain HLB value. So the HLB value of this ingredient are referred to as required HLB value so to ensure a good emulsion is produced the hlb value for oil fat and wax which are the required hlb value has to be determined and this value has to be matched with surfactant which can offer similar hlb value so the required hlb value has to be matched with the offered hlb value when more than one oil or fat is to be included in the formulation a total required hlb value has to be calculated so, uh, we have to add up the HLB value of the different ingredient and match with the surfactant or mix of surfactant depending on whether water in oil or oil in water emulsion is needed. So, if the required HLB value does not match any single surfactant, then we have to mix between different surfactant. I will show you how to do that. So we refer to this um, this prescription okay as an example. So you are required to formulate liquid paraffin, wool fat, and acetyl alcohol into an emulsion with the use of uh, uh, appropriate surfactant. So first of all, we have to determine the required HLB value. So you have to make sure that all ingredients are in the gram 
uh, unit. Okay, that is the first step. If the oil is in ml, you have to convert into gram by using the density. So, if the density value is not available in BPC, I will give you in the exam. But rest assured, this density value is easily uh, obtained. Okay, in the real life, okay, you can uh, easily find them. Okay, so the total percentage of oil, fat and wax. Okay, if we refer back to the prescription, is 35 plus 1 plus 1. Okay, so it will be 37 gram. So, the proportion of each uh, oil, fat and wax ingredient are... Liquid paraffin is the highest uh, portion, so it uh, go up to 94.6%, wool fat 2.7% and cetyl alcohol another 2.7%. So to calculate the total required HLB value, you have to times this percent with the HLB value of each ingredient. So as the liquid paraffin has a HLB value of 12, you have to times 94.6 times 12, it will equal to 11.4. Wool fat 0.3 and city alcohol 0.4. So you add up all this, so it will be 12.1. So 12.1 is the total required HLB value. Okay, this is the total required HLB value. So you have to refer back to the table. Okay, here. Can you find one surfactant that offer 12.1 HLB value? Okay, there's one 12, okay, but that's not. Uh, exactly the same. So we will have to mix between uh, two different surfactant. So in this case, the surfactant that is available to you are the uh, from the span range and the twin range. So what should you do? You have to choose one span and one twin that is um, higher or lower than the required HLB value. So as the required HLB value is 12.1, you would uh, let uh, in this case i would take a uh, span 80 that has a hlb value of 4.3 and also twin 80 15.1 okay you can't take twin 81 it's 10 okay it's lower than the required hlb value you can only take twin 80 or twin 60 and twin 40 okay you can take this twin 21 and twin 20 is also allowed but not twin, uh, twin 81 or twin 85 okay this is too low uh, this is uh, lower than the required HLB value so for the span you can take uh, any one uh, if I remember well yes you can take any one as uh, yeah so in this case I choose span 80 okay so now by using the allegation method we can calculate the amount of factor needed to match the HLB value of the oil fat and wax so choose the uh, two non-ionic surfactant. In this case, I would choose uh, span 80 and twin 80. So span 80 has a HLB value of 4.3 and twin 80, 15. So uh, what should we do? So span 80 has a HLB value of 4.3, twin 80 at 15. 12.1 is the required that we want to achieve. Okay, the HLB value that we want to achieve. So we subtract this, we will get 7.8 here, okay, and 2.9 here, okay. So, 12.1 minus uh, 15, okay, you have 2.9, 12.1 minus 4.3, you have 7.8. So, you total up, okay, the the uh, the mix between span 80 and, and twin 80, and then uh, as based on the prescription, the quantity of surfactant that will be used in the prescription is 7 gram. So you have to calculate the amount of uh, span and twin that will eventually total up to 7 gram. Uh, so here you see 2.9 okay, over 10.7 times 7 gram. So it will be 1.89 gram of span 80 and eventually 5.11 gram of twin 80. So this is how you calculate to determine the amount or the quantity of uh, each uh, surfactant needed in the preparation. Preservatives. So there are two types of, of preservative. First is against microorganism and the second is against atmospheric oxygen. Uh, so there are several um, uh, preservatives against microbes that can be used as an example benzoic acid, okay, uh, chloroform, chloroform water, okay, chlorocresol and cetrimide. It depends on the type of the product that we are formulating. So as an example, if we are preparing um, uh, oil, in water, uh, oil in water emulsion for oral use, okay, for internal use, 
we can use benzoic acid solution okay or sodium benzoic or potassium sorbate as the preservative okay again as most uh, okay for chlorocresol is more for external preparation okay for creams uh, and cetrimide is also for external preparation Chloroform water is previously used in the olden days, but now we don't use much, but they still are a good preservative. Okay, preservation against atmospheric oxygen is important because fats and oil are prone to be oxidized, okay? And this will lead to rancidity of the oil. So that's why we, at times, okay, for products that are meant to be kept for a long time, we would also need to add an antioxidant, okay, to, to protect the preparation against degradation uh, so example of antioxidants are such as vitamin e okay is also an uh, is, is also an effective antioxidant flavoring and coloring agent uh, are used to increase the palatability of a preparation so sometimes it is used for oral emulsion so as an example uh, vanilla or vanillin is used to flavor paraffin emulsion okay so this will uh, help to mask the the bad taste of the preparation so the choice of flavoring and coloring uh, will be explained later on uh, in the lecture by dr atika so uh, uh, dr atika will cover more on the on how to choose uh, the flavoring agent based on the ingredient so color is rarely needed in emulsion but it's not wrong to be added and perf uh, for uh, uh, external product uh, perfumes are sometimes uh, used for cosmetic lotions and creams uh, and sometimes we do use essential oils as the antimicrobial agents, um, okay? Uh, and it also gives the uh, the the flavor, you know, your the the fragrance that will uh, that will influence the flavor. <clears throat> so as a pharmacist, it is important for us to ensure that the emulsion is stable during its chef life, and the expiry for extemporaneous preparation would be four weeks if uh, there's there is preservative and two weeks without preservative. 